Now, you can listen to Wine and Dine Radio while shopping at the grocery store or your neighborhood wine merchant. Wine and Dine Radio can be heard using your wireless internet on your cell phone. You're listening to iWine Radio. iWine Radio is a production of Food Tastes Better with Wine on the web at iwineradio.com. Hey guys, I thank you for listening to iWine Radio and we are still the only wine channel on iTunes Radio. If you go look under iTunes Radio icon and scroll down to News and Talk Directory and it's listed alphabetically, click on that and the stream comes up immediately. iWineRadio.com where you can find links to individual guests. And if anyone's interested in advertising or becoming an underwriter or sponsor, please contact us at iWineRadio.com. We really, really appreciate your support. The more support we get, the more conversations I can have with fascinating people around the world, including you. If you have a story to tell that you'd like to share on iWine Radio, go to iWineRadio.com and contact us, and we'll go from there. Hello, my name is Nikolai Kolev. I'm a social media strategist and one of the founders of hospitalityfair.com. You can connect with us on Facebook at uh, facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash hospitalityfair. Hello, I'm Jana Starva, one of the founders of hospitalityfair.com. Uh, you can connect with us on Facebook. Our, our group is www.facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash hospitalityfair. Today we're going to learn all about really really brand new startup company called hospitalityfair.com and by the time we're done you will meet the two founders and hear their fun fun story which is going to be most unusual at least by North American ears and we will also learn about an upcoming webinar that they're going to be hosting on September 19th and to begin with, we're going to start with Nikolai Kolev, and he is the COO of HospitalityFair.com, and then we will also be conversing with Yana Stoeva, who is the CEO. We're actually going to spend the third and fourth courses of this week's show to talk to them because they're joining us today from Bulgaria, which is where they're originally from, if I have this all correct. And I have, I'm really kind of tickled because I've never talked to anybody for an interview on Wine and Dine on in 12 years from Bulgaria. So I'd like to thank you so very much, Nikolai, for joining us. And Most welcome. Can I, let's start by, by talking about what is the premise for hospitalityfair.com? What is it all about? What is your mission statement? Right. Uh, thank you very much for the opportunity of talking to your audience tonight first. Um, the idea about this uh, venture came um, um, as a sequence of um, getting us, both of us, me and Yana, uh, with getting involved with social media for the past five, six years very actively. So some months ago, um, we just looked at the friends and connections we got on various um, social media websites, especially Facebook, and we came up with this idea of promoting social media, since this was what we've been doing, again, for the past five, six years, uh, into the field of uh, hospitality industry. The main reason for that was that we, as far as we noticed at least, there wasn't anybody really doing that, uh, at least not actively. Okay. And, so, yeah, I'm sorry, go on. No, no, that was it. I mean, that, that's a brief story. There are, to my now, and there's probably a lot more than I am aware of, but nationally, at least in the, in the United States, I see that there are a couple of opportunities focused on hospitality industry and actually also the wine industry 
where people post jobs. But right. it seems like I've noticed with one in particular that the entries of jobs in the wine industry has really, really dropped off significantly in the last month or so since month and a half since they changed their format. And I, I agree with you that there is, I believe, a big need for this. But is the premise for hospitalityfair.com going to be international since the two of you are from out, originally from outside the United States? Where are you wanting to pro, pro, promote and provide resources for recruiters and for people, for job seekers? Well, the original idea was to really focus uh, primarily on jobs because, uh, again, researching the industry, we spotted that there aren't too many international, primarily, uh, resources that provide uh, a meeting point for hospitality professionals and hospitality employers. However, uh, as we went on with our research and as we are doing it even now, um, it would our focus would most probably change a bit and would not be focused that much on the job segment of the industry, but rather on really promoting social media. Because, you know, originally we wanted to sort of uh, promote uh, social media uh, as a platform for hospitality professionals and employers to meet and help each other. The thing is that uh, because of the nature of the business, obviously, worldwide, uh, it's not very easy as, uh, I mean, the, the, the main, when I say easy, I mean um, there are a number of things that really I think would prevent that from happening uh, clearly quickly, and we want things for us to happen quickly. And the main, one of the main reasons, for instance, is that um, not... Uh, or the majority of hospitality professionals worldwide that want to get involved uh, in uh, or want to find a better job uh, you simply s- you say that yeah. you say that that the majority of people don't want to find a better job or do want to find a better job they want to find a better job okay. but there are a number there are a number of uh, um, issues that they face, and the primary issue is that from legal standpoint, it's really difficult for uh, people from, let's say, outside the U.S. to get the job they want in the, e- in, in the U.S., even if the, 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 em, there is an employer uh, in the United States that wants to hire them. Okay. You see? So to that end, we decided finally that uh, uh, to promote this uh, specific field of the hospitality industry is not um, really feasible at the moment, and uh, we're in the process of slightly changing the focus, focusing primarily on social media and other, me- other, other ways, actually, that social media can help hospitality professionals not only finding jobs. Is do you from your perspective? Do you think it's easier for people, hospitality professionals in the U.S. or North America, including Canada, to find work, to actually get hired, and move to other countries? Is it easier that direction? That direction is definitely easier. Actually, okay. there are a couple of uh, resources already existing, even online, that facilitate that to a great extent. And uh, especially when uh, there, is, there is definitely, for instance, a demand for hospitality professionals from North America in, uh, let's say, uh, uh, the old EU members like France, Italy, uh, and, for instance, in the Middle East, like Dubai, the United Arab Emirates, um, Saudi Arabia, and there are a couple of resources online that really facilitate that. Oh, wow. Are, are, yeah. are you wanting to partner up with those resources or or you want to do that you don't want to do that and you want to eventually maybe in the future create your own uh basically um we are trying to find a spot where what we would be doing would be unique actually uh we've been working uh, for the past couple of years especially on a number of different projects related to social media 
For instance, I would like to mention one okay. uh, quite different um, type of project, and that's, for instance, for instance, we are developing at the moment with the help of uh, Rob Burnett from Vim Village Radio. Yes. I mean, he's contributing pretty much to the concept, especially developing this uh, application for the United States market. Okay. Uh, an application that's in the, in the realm of uh, daily deals. Okay, we are not ready with the platform yet, but soon we will we will be. T so S this is, for instance, another field where we are actively working. N and now mention that again. Say that again. Daily deals. Yes, like, like Groupon, Living Social, daily deals, daily <gasps> deals for the hospitality oh. industry. Oh, okay. So, but not jobs, daily deals, but actually no, things that are no, for sale. No. no, no, no. Actually, this is more focused. Uh, there, it's actually directly focused on the hospitality businesses and giving them a platform where the main benefit they would get is that they would be able to do their daily deals at a cost up to 10 times lower than what the cost is nowadays on average on any other daily deal site. Wow. Like uh, an overnight accommodation, or staying at, a, or, or eating at a nice restaurant. That's, or even the sa a sale of a wine through a specific retailer. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Very much so. Okay. Oh wow. And you and Yana Stueva are are creating the software to do this. Exactly. Yes, we are creating okay. the software. We are the final stages. Still not ready, but very soon we will be. Okay, so you're talking to us from Bulgaria right now. What in what yes. city in Bulgaria? Uh, the town is called Yambo. It's not a big town, actually, pretty small one, about eighty thousand people. Uh, it's in the eastern part of the country. Is is that where your families are from? Yes, yes, very much so. Yes. And do you go back and forth then? between there and San Diego, or do you spend time in the United States, or is this all done virtually? Actually, we spent more time in Netherlands, because uh, this is where we've been working in the past four years most of the time. Really? So, yes, we are traveling back and forth between Bulgaria and Netherlands mainly. Oh, my gosh. So how did you guys meet up then with Rob Barnett? Well, this is one of the success social media stories we have because okay. we used very much social media to get connected not only with him but let's say with also the other presenters that we would be having on the upcoming webinar that we will be doing, doing regarding social media and hospitality industry professionals. So before we go to break, talk, talk to us and then we'll, we'll pick it up again when we talk to Yana uh, with the next segment. With the seminar webinar on September 19th, where do people need to go to be able to register for this? To get registered for the seminar, people need to go to hospitalityfair.com forward slash seminars, and there they would find all the info they need to sign up for free. Okay. We're going to go to a short break here. When we come back, we're going to continue our conversation with Nikolai Kolev and also meet Yana Stueva, his partner. You're listening to Wine and Dine. I thank you, and we'll be right back. We are continuing our conversation with the founders of HospitalityFair.com, and that is spelled H-O-S-P-Y-T-A-L-I-T-Y-Fair.com. So it's a little take, a little different spelling, HospitalityFair.com, and they are hosting a webinar on September 19th, which you can join for free. And Nikolai Kolev is our guest. We're also going to be meeting Yana Stoeva. And Nikolai, what will people then be learning during the webinar? Will they be learning about applications of social media in, with respect to the hospitality industry? 
Right. The main idea of the webinar is to show how successful people in the hospitality industry, mainly uh, professionals, uh, are using social media to help out either their business or their career. Uh, for that reason, we've um, arranged a number of presenters. Um, some of them are quite uh, well-known names in the hospitality industry. Um, to give short presentations on how they use um, social media in their um, career or their activities. Okay. So we have names like uh, Rob Barnett from Vin Village Radio. We have uh, uh, Sabro Ritchie. Uh, we have uh, Dwayne Keller from uh, Hamilton Crown Plaza in Washington, D.C. We have uh, also... Um, Hari Harivambidis from uh, uh, Gastronomy Essentials, which is a company uh, affiliated with uh, Alain Ducasse's uh, formation. Okay. So all these people or people like them would be sharing their experience and how social media is helping them. How long will the webinar be approximately? Approximately it would be about an hour. About an hour. And what time will it start? Uh, the webinar would start at uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, what was that? Hold on a second. Uh, I guess that was 2.30 uh, uh, p.m. Eastern time. Okay. And, Eastern. and, and after... It, are, are sorry, you, sorry for interrupting you. 11.30 Eastern Time. 11.30 oh, Eastern Time. Okay, 11.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Yeah, on Eastern the Time, 19th. yeah. yeah. And yeah. are you limiting the number of people who can sign up and register for the webinar on the 19th? A registration is completely free. Anyone is welcome to attend. There, are, there is no limit. Uh, as many people as, I mean, anyone that wants to attend the webinar is welcome. And one, it's free registration. It's available to anybody. And one other question. For people who are at their work and they cannot do the webinar or participate at 11.30 a.m. East Coast time on the 19th, will the webinar be available to view as, as a video or to listen as an audio file after the fact? It, it would be available as a video. We would do a recording of the webinar itself, and okay. we would post the link uh, both on our Facebook group and on the Hospitality Fair website. Okay. you're gonna If you would please... You know, within the next day or two, email me the links to your uh, uh, all of your online social media outlets, including a uh, Facebook page, Twitter, I would imagine, LinkedIn, yes. uh, whatever yes. you're doing. Send me the link so that I can share that with uh, with this interview as well. Not an issue. <clears throat> okay, so can I let can we talk to Yana for a bit now? Yes, you can just pass. It. Okay, thank you. Hello again. Hello, Yana. How are you? Hi. I'm okay. Thank you, Lynn. Glad to talk to you. So I'm just dying to know, and this is just a girl girl conversation here, girl to girl. How the heck did mm -hmm. you two meet? Where did you meet? And how did you meet? Were you both in college? Uh, with Nikolai? Yeah. Uh, it's a funny story, actually. Uh, we met uh, at uh, my first job. I, I was working at one of the banks here, so he was a customer, and that's where we met. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah, that's, it's a really, really interesting story. And how many years ago was that, like 10 years ago? Well, it was, it was something like seven years, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. So you, you mm -hmm. two have a, made a strong connection uh, immediately, yeah. if you I mean if you've been working on the concept of hospitality fair and all this social media networking, you've been working on this for four, four or five years. It's really it mm -hmm. it, uh, it consumes a lot of your relationship. Is just all this creative thinking. Yeah, well, uh, it, you know, things just just happen naturally. I mean, uh, we found we have uh, mutual interests things uh, we see things in the same way so uh, we decided we must do something together and uh, that's how we, how it all started mm. 
So wh- why I'm curious, and I never, I didn't ask Nikolai, why do you spend a lot of your time in the Netherlands? Are there some advantages to doing business in the in the Netherlands as compared to Bulgaria? Yeah, that's one. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's one thing. Uh, another, the way of life there. I mean, uh, you feel you feel a, a lot more free there. And uh, the Netherlands, it's uh, actually it's one. Uh, yeah, it's a cosmopolitan country. Also, it's uh, it's completely different from the most of the countries here in Europe. Uh, it's, it has a different spirit. People are different. Uh, the way they think, everything. It's it's just it's just a place we feel we feel good. Not only to do business, but to live. Yeah, just very create. It's conducive to creative thinking and free living. Absolutely, yes. So, how many different languages do you know? Uh, mm, well, we speak English. Yes. Uh, we we were. Uh, everybody has to know Russian in Bulgaria a few years ago. Okay. So we, we speak Russian and a little Italian, both of us, and yeah, that's all. So is the Bulgarian language Russian? Russian, English, and a little Italian. Oh, wow. Do you, do you ever come to the United States? Uh, no, we haven't been yet there, but uh, it's it's uh, let's say on our to do list yeah. in the near in near future. <laughs> oh my gosh! So, are you also going to be presenting at the upcoming webinar on September nineteenth? Will, will you be one of the people talking? No, I, I will not be one of the presenters at the at the seminar. What, can can I ask what is your favorite? outlet for social media do you, or do you have a favorite well thinking of it maybe yeah i, I can say facebook okay. i can say facebook it's uh, actually it's the only one giving you the chance to to create more personal relationships with with the people there but for people to do that at least if if you're if you have a small group of people that's possible but if you have a large group of people that that's kind of difficult to do yeah uh you can uh, yeah it's uh you cannot uh, get into a personal talks let's say with everybody like i have something like uh, 3000 people yeah. that are my friends on facebook or okay. 4000 4, okay you, you you cannot know each one of them you cannot remember them all but uh, it gives you the chance to get to more people uh, to get to know more of them to talk to them to uh, get to know them and yeah People, I mean, they see your post, they start to feel you close, uh, closer, and you start to talk more personal, and that's how you create those uh, relationships. Which, for many people, will uh, potentially help their career and their... Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay. Okay, well, mm. this has been really, really interesting, and uh, I, I would like to pay close attention to what you and Nikolai are doing with the hospitalityfair.com, and... and uh, I'm very excited to have made your acquaintance. I thank you so very much for your time today. Thank you, too, for giving us the opportunity to talk in front of your audience. Well, we will have links up for you to learn more and to connect directly with with, uh, Yana Stoeva and Nikolai Kolev. You are listening to Wine and Dine. Now, you can listen to Wine and Dine Radio while shopping at the grocery store or your neighborhood wine merchant. Wine and Dine Radio can be heard using your wireless internet on your cell phone. You're listening to iWine Radio. iWine Radio is a production of Food Tastes Better with Wine on the web at iWineRadio.com. Hey guys, I thank you for listening to iWine Radio and we are still the only wine channel on iTunes Radio. If you go look under iTunes Radio icon and scroll down to News and Talk Directory and it's listed alphabetically, click on that and the stream comes up immediately. 
iwineradio.com where you can find links to individual guests. And if anyone's interested in advertising or becoming an underwriter or sponsor, please contact us at iwineradio.com. We really, really appreciate your support. The more support we get, the more conversations I can have with fascinating people around the world, including you. If you have a story to tell that you'd like to share on iWine Radio, go to iWineRadio.com and contact us and we'll go from there. <laughs>